Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to Rose Guard Gaming. It's boy Sunny, and we are back with another video. Today's video is how to sign cheap players in FIFA 19. If you guys have been enjoying the tips and tricks recently and enjoying the Manchester United career, well, go ahead and smash that, that like button down below if you haven't already. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you are new. As you guys can see here, we're going in for some transfers straight off the bat, literally wasting no time. And you guys would have saw there that the assistant coach comes to us and says he's worth between 22.7 and 33 million pounds. Now the whole point of this video is to get him for less than the first valuation so bet between 22.7 and 33 million pounds around 26 million pounds is what you would spend on a player like Jamie Vardy but we're trying to get him for cheap like I said this video is how to sign players on FIFA 19 for cheap so you can see we're going straight down to 21.6 already we are below the valuation the first valuation number let alone the second valuation number we are signing him way cheaper than what the assistant coach said and closer to his valuation and you can see that we come to a deal on I think it was 20 million pounds and he's on a, you know it was 19 million pounds and you can see that his wake, weekly wage was 85k as well now what you want to do on the weekly wage to make it cheaper and obviously you save a lot more money is delegate the weekly wage all right you don't want to go in ahead and negotiate for it because once you start negotiating for it you'll be paying signing bonuses appearance bonuses all of that you can see we're moving into more players here 10.5 million pound value Rojo now this is a tutorial in this part on how how to start off when it comes to how you bid on the player a lot of it is negotiation skills a lot of people lack in negotiation skills and I'm gonna let you guys know a little bit of a secret of mine on how to negotiate on getting the price that you're willing to pay on a player now if you're willing to pay 15 million pound on a player and he's valued at 13 million pounds what do you start on you don't start on 15 million pounds you start on less than the valuation start on 12 million pounds I know in FIFA 18 it didn't work like that you start on less than the valuation and straight away that out the office they don't want to hear it but in FIFA 19 they will listen to that offer and come back and counter on that offer as well and also don't be afraid of these I want to take time to think about it because sometimes they come back and accept it sometimes they do say unacceptable go back in there and start with what you ended it ended on in the last uh, negotiations and then come back with the same amount of money and then literally counter and keep negotiating from there but like I was saying you start with less than what you want to pay less than his value so for a 10.5 player you would have started with like 9 or 10 million pounds as you saw for Rojo they come back with like 13 14 mil right and then you go to the 12 mil and then they come back with like 13 mil and already you're paying less than what you were willing to pay for the player in the first place so you're saving money on a good deal that you already wanted to make and that's how negotiations work in this game negotiations work in real life so where my negotiation squad at smash out the like button subscribe if you're new let's go as you can see Pjanic here is worth quite a bit of money I wanted to show you guys how it worked on like more expensive players as well you you can see they're taking time to think about it they actually do come back one thing I want to say looking at Antonio Valencia you can see the question mark there and you guys are gonna see why it's so important to scout the players before you go in for bids all right I wanted to show you guys straight off the bat the probability of you knowing what the player is worth is very unlikely and also you get that valuation from your assistant coach as well which you could pay less than like I said to try and get him cheap on FIFA 19 you can see we're going straight back in there for Valencia to go ahead and scout him further like I said if you don't have that scout report go ahead and scout these players further if you didn't do it earlier around in the season and you're in deadline day tough luck for you because you can't actually go after them a week later because it will be outside of the transfer window however you can do it and they will sign in the next transfer window it will just take obviously a few months before that transfer happens so what you want to do is go ahead and simulate further when it comes to uh, the, the offers that are going, going to take time for them to um, think about those offers you can see for hours it is unacceptable for both of those players sometimes you're gonna get accepted you're gonna see in this video actually that sometimes you will get offers accepted once they take time to think about it and like I said don't be discouraged by them saying they want to take time because I've been discouraged playing FIFA 19 career mode or play career mode recently uh, in FIFA 18 especially once they say they want to take time to think about the offer but in FIFA 19 there's so many of them that started getting accepted that I feel like it's changed in FIFA 19 compared to FIFA 18 so the transfers are working a lot more better now 
Also, the player swap deals are actually crazy in this career mode now. They actually come back and say they want three positions, positions rather than one position, and that is crazy. If you guys want to see a video on how to sell players as well, do let me know in the comment section down below. I can show you guys how to sell players for more than their valuation or double their valuation, probably more than double their valuation. You guys have saw me do it in so, so many career modes. Maybe you guys want to know how I do that. I will let you guys know in a video. As you can see, we're going into it for Pjanic again after agreeing that deal on Rojo. You can see that we come to 53.5 million pounds. I think that 53.3 million pounds. We come all the way down to 45 million and then suddenly they say 48.1 million pounds, which is way closer to my deal than it is to their deal. And like I said, for the purposes of the video, I'm going to bring it down again. I'm going to try and bring it down even further. I would have accepted this at this point. Not really a difference in the transfer window, in the transfer even, but I'm bringing it down as much as possible. Like I said, just keep negotiating your way down. Sometimes they're going to walk out the office and say, yo, no, we don't want him. You could have maybe saved the game before that, and obviously you could just jump back into the game and then go from there. Just keep loading the game and saving the game, loading the game, and you can go back into where you left off. As you can see, we're delegating the weekly wages again. Like I said, you save a lot of money on that because of the bonuses and the appearance bonuses, the goal bonuses, assist bonuses, whatever it is that they ask for, they don't ask for if you delegate the contracts like you did in FIFA 18. If you don't know, you save a lot of money on there. Obviously, if you're trying to get the player on the day, go ahead and contract negotiate for them. Try and bring them into the game uh, for the next game, which is probably on the day. But if you've got like three or four days before the next game and you want to try and sign them up before the next game starts, go ahead and delegate that transfer and you can see all of them get accepted and they are less. Yep, less than their weekly wage as well at their current club. So this is one thing that you want to try and add to the game as well. Offer less than their weekly wage and have them to not go higher than more than their weekly wage, if that makes sense. So if they're on 105k, offer them around 70k and then have them not go higher than 120k. Because sometimes it could end on like 80 to 90k. And I find this to be like a huge thing in this game. A lot of players actually take a wage cut once you buy the players you can see we're going back in for valencia here as well i know a lot of people are probably like sunny he left out of valencia you didn't show us how to negotiate on a player like valencia like i said you have to scout the player further and you can see that we're changing it up right here you can see the negotiation skills are a madness we're going way too low for him but it does work because it ends up bringing the price down like i said slowly but surely and hopefully bring him to the club at watford in this case obviously your club will be different to us he's going to take time to think about it like i said said taking time to think about it don't be discouraged about it because all you have to do is go straight to the central go ahead and simulate on days and just wait for that to come back and once it comes back you never know like this it could be accepted and you don't have to negotiate anymore you can just delegate that contract and bring him to the club unfortunately for this video i didn't have the money from watford to bring in pianic but if i sold a couple of players we probably could have bought in pianic as well and we would have had pianic rojo jamie vardy and antonio valencia all on less weekly wages what they what they were on at the previous club and not only that but we signed them for literally around their valuation and less than what the assistant coach was telling us to pay for these players as well like i said this is how you negotiate this is how you bring in players in fifa 19 and this is how you sign players cheap as well you're saving money on weekly wage you're saving money on the transfer deal as well this is the best way to make deals happen in fifa 19 and the cheapest way as well to make deals happen in fifa 19 as you can see we just got, went ahead and put out a contract there for Valencia went ahead and simulated further and you can see that all of the offers actually get accepted for all of the players we're going to go ahead and back out again and try and simulate sometimes it's going to take two days sometimes it can take three sometimes it can take four you know delegating contracts do take a little bit of time if you like I said if you want to bring a player in straight away go ahead and negotiate on that contract if you need him on that day but if you don't delegate the contract because you can save a lot of money uh, in signing bonuses and in player appearance appearances and stuff like that and you can see that we've got all of these players here and we're going to go ahead and sign them all up they all have been accepted to the club brand spanking new offers right there or brand spanking new players at the club and they've all come in for around their valuation a little bit higher than the valuation but lower than the assistant coach valuation which means we've signed these players cheap in fifa 19 and you can see we've got jamie vardy in there we can put all of these players into the club now and we've got all of these signings who we signed for less than what they should have been signed for we could probably sell players for more than 
double what they uh, value at as well. Like I said, if you guys want to see that video, do let me know. But for now, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, smash out the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. That would also be appreciated. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All those links are in the description down below. I'm also on twitch.tv forward slash bros got game. That would also be appreciated if you guys could hit me up on there. You know what it is. I live stream all the time, all right? I'm always uh, posting daily content to you guys video wise. I'm also live streaming to you every day if I can as well. Sometimes I do miss days here and there. Like I said, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, etc. to know when I'm going to go live. But for now, it has been me. You guys have been great and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.